Good morning, guys. <clears throat> we had a uh, pretty big storm last night. Tons of wind. It was like 90 kilometers an hour, so we had a little bit of damage here to our chicken coop. As you can see. This is usually all covered in plastic. So we're gonna have to get this repaired. Other than that though, everything else seemed to hold up okay. Morning girls. So I think I was worried about the um, I was worried about the roof, like catching on the roof. With all that wind, but I built it good I guess, so we're just gonna put the uh, we get the pl this plastic back on. Give these uh, give these chickens some protection. How you guys doing? Hey? How you doing? Too cold for you guys? Yeah, you want some snacks? All right, let's give you guys some treats. We also finally got some extra cold here. So I think we hit somewhere around minus 22 or so. All right, let's see what we can do here. So I've been giving them some uh, some of these sunflower seeds almost every day just to give them a little little something extra to get through this little cold snap. And they really enjoy it. Treats. We got treats. Oh yeah, you know. You guys know what I got. You know what I got. Okay. Coming down? Yeah? No? Loving it. Oh yeah. You better get down here fast. You're missing out. Who else is up there? Come on out. Tell Marmalade, who else is in there? Marmalade. All right, I'll leave, all right. We also gotta check the eggs on a regular basis. Freeze a lot quicker. Yeah, hello. Yeah. It's been crazy. Is um, we dropped down all summer. We were down to like three, probably average three eggs a day with our six hens. And then once they started molting, it was one egg, zero to one eggs a day. And then like clockwork, two weeks after winter solstice, um, they picked right back up and now we're five, about five eggs a day, which is amazing. Um, we, don't, we don't do any kind of supplementary light. We just, we let them go through their molting process and then, you know, if they need that rest, then so be it. We just let them do their thing. So 
So somewhat of an easy fix, it didn't take too long. I was kind of, I had a feeling this was going to happen. Um, I mean, it's just staples, but I wasn't, you know, it, it did last quite a, quite a while. Um, the way it works here is the wind on this chicken coop is almost always going to come come from the west. Um, so with this, once once this catches here, it just kind of creates a sail. So I think what I'm going to do, I have some, some sheathing in the garage. I think I'm going to run a strip down this side and maybe around the door. So I'll run it around this side and around the door. And that way, um, I think it'll, it'll help in case we get another big wind. Let's go see what we can find. Stick in the mess. Okay, whoops. So I think this will work good. Yeah. Do that. All right, pump this compressor up. We'll be back in a minute. All right, let's grab this compressor. Let's grab you guys. Let's go. See, I don't want to do the whole thing because come summertime, I'm, I want to take this off. So uh, this is kind of just a year one kind of test the waters. But ultimately, what I'd like to have is hard plastic, you know, like greenhouse panel. Cut it once, size it to the greenhouse, and then you can screw it off every year, put it back on, and just store it somewhere. I think that's probably the best solution. Um, Chances are when I take this off in the summer, I'm not going to be able to reuse this plastic. It's just probably going to be destroyed. And it was quite a bit of work to cut everything and get it wrapped. Hey, just all the learning. All right, guys, I think that's pretty good. Simple, super simple fix. Now at least this plastic, and that wind comes, comes hitting hard from the west, that's not gonna do anything. Still opens. He's all sleeping in there. I'm done. Sorry. You guys can come back out and eat your sunflowers if you want. Sorry, Orpy.
All right, guys, that's it for today. We got everything fixed. I think we're okay uh, for the little cold snap we got coming up. So I uh, just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, if it's not too much trouble, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. And uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, guys.